another private moon landing, another mishap. Texas-based Intuitive Machines' latest lunar mission, the Athena Lander, touched down Thursday, but not as planned. Data shows the lander tipped onto its side, mirroring the company's first moon landing last year. That position could jeopardize the lander's ability to generate power and carry out critical scientific experiments. Athena touched down about 100 miles from the moon's south pole, a key region for future exploration due to its potential water ice deposits. The lander carried 11 payloads, including a drill to search for water in the bedrock and what was meant to be the first cellular network on the moon. But its compromised position may prevent some of those systems from functioning. This is the second lunar landing in just days, but with vastly different outcomes. Days earlier, Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost Lander made a near-perfect touchdown. The Texas-based company became only the second private firm to achieve a fully stable moon landing, delivering NASA payloads and transmitting images within hours of its arrival Sunday. For Intuitive Machines, it's another setback in its push to lead commercial lunar exploration. CEO Steve Aldemus says engineers are still assessing the lander's condition, but initial data suggests limited power generation. Some experts say Athena's tall, narrow design may have contributed to its unstable landing, unlike the squat, low-profile structures often used for stability. Firefly, on the other hand, used advanced navigation to scan the terrain and adjust its descent, ensuring a safe and stable landing. Still, some experiments may still be salvageable. NASA says Athena's drilling system could still analyze lunar soil if it's positioned at the right angle. Other instruments, including a laser reflector array and a small autonomous rover, might still operate independently. The contrasting landings raise broader questions about NASA's reliance on private companies for lunar missions. Both Athena and Blue Ghost are part of the agency's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program, designed to cut costs and accelerate moon exploration. Firefly Aerospace delivered, but Intuitive Machines now faces another high-profile challenge. Mission performance plays a key role in future funding and project selection, and if Athena's power limitations prevent it from completing key scientific objectives, it could affect the company's standing in the commercial space sector. For now, NASA and its commercial partners are watching closely, and while Athena may be down, the race to the moon is far from over. Now the focus shifts to whether intuitive machines can adapt before its next lunar mission. For more of our unbiased straight fact reporting, download the Straight Arrow News mobile app or visit us online at san.com.